Clean the trough and the subface as shown in the isotherm measurement video and check that the surface is clean. Then place the dipping sample on the white holder clip and screw it to the dipping arm. Lower your sample until it touches the subface's surface. Then zero the dipper position. Depending on the sample, either lower it to the desired depth or lift it so that it doesn't touch the surface. In this case, the sample is hydrophilic and dipping measurement is started under the subface. After that, lower the sample to desired depth. It's good to check that the balance value is still close to zero and the surface is still clean. Open the LB control software and choose the dip icon. Certain information is required in the experimental setup before a new measurement can be started. Type in the measurement name, choose the user, and choose the right trough, which in this case is named MINI. Subface is optional, but usually good to define. Also, if for example some salt is mixed in the subface, the concentration can be typed into the experimental setup. Then select Substance or type it in manually if you haven't added it to the database yet. Insert the concentrations and choose the unit. After making the isotherm measurements, the desired measurement conditions should be known. Choose the Manual Control Unit window and zero the balance. After that, add the desired amount of the substance liquid on the surface. Spread the solution by making small drops that touch the surface. While waiting the 15 to 20 minutes for the organic solvent to vaporize, fill in the rest of the experimental setup and measurement parameters. Type the name of the dipping sample. Choose the right shape and insert the dipping height. In case of a hydrophilic sample, it is the same as the current dipping arm's position. That can be checked from the LB control software window as shown. Then fill in the other parameters. The trough 1 control window will open. Make sure that the constant rate compression is selected and the recording option is set to from go to stop slash dip. Otherwise the dipping part of the measurement will not be recorded. The target options can be the same as in the isotherm measurement. Number of cycles should be 1 but the target options have to be changed in the desired surface tension. Usually the monolayer is compressed only until the liquid phase to avoid the collapse point of the monolayer. The after target parameters should be approximately half of the dipping speed. Once the organic solvent has vaporized, press the go slash hold button. The recording will automatically start and the barriers will start compressing the surface. Once the desired surface pressure has been reached, a new graph will replace the isotherm graph. Now it shows the surface pressure and barrier position against time. While waiting for the layer to stabilize, fill in the dipping method parameters. The upper limit should be set so that the sample doesn't touch the surface at all. 
the speed up value is the speed of the dipper arm when the sample is lifted and usually 5 mm per minute is suitable. The wait when up value is the time that is waited before new dipping is started and is only used when multiple cycles are done. It is important to make sure that the sample is really dry before dipping it again to the subface. The lower limit can be set automatically by pressing the set button. Then the dipping arm's current position will change to the field. If the dipping is started from air, the dipping depth has to be changed manually. Usually the speed down value is the same as the speed up. The weight when down value can be left to zero. Number of layers is set to one because now the sample is only lifted once from the subface to air. Ignore first means that the software doesn't take the first 2 mm into account when calculating the transfer rate of the mono layer. Averaging defines the number of points that are used to extrapolate the TR value during the measurement. If it's set to 2 mm, the software uses the data from the last 2 mm to extrapolate the TR value on Y axis. It is recommended to use at least 2 mm to avoid high noise ratio. Once all the settings are ready, press the start button to start the dipping. The surface pressure is shown with a blue line in the graph and the current transfer rate is drawn with a green line. Usually the barriers oscillate a bit during the dipping and this causes a minor oscillation to the surface pressure. If the surface pressure starts to decrease, the barrier speed might be too slow to compensate the pressure drop. If that is the case, the trough speed has to be reset from the trough control. Once the measurement is done, the transfer rate will appear in the TR field.